Okay, so since we're all home and, and we are, except for a couple of states, uh, quarantined and, and don't have guests coming in, how are you going to test these colors? Well, that's where um, I'm going to show you how to MacGyver one, and I'm going to give you some tips on, on if you really want to do this seriously. You want to get these. Um, this is yak hair. Um, it actually comes from a yak, uh, which is great because you don't kill the yak to get it. It's a renewable source, but it takes hair color very much like, um, like non-pigmented hair. So when you're doing tests, because you're doing apples to apples, this isn't so much for a human result, but it's to see what the level of the color is and what the tone of it is. Um, and because one yak isn't flat ironing their hair and the other yak isn't, you get very consistent results. So you can get these from um, Pivot Point, you can get these from Product Club. So you can get these probably many other places too, but I know both of them have these available and they're yak hair. Um, Highly recommend getting this uh, if you want to honestly do a test. So we've got yak hair because that's going to tell us both level and it's going to be very important for us for tone and also to know where direct dyes are coming from. That's what we're going to use that for. The next thing we want to do is we want to do it on, on human hair. We want to do it on pigmented hair. So, um, you know, you can also buy these from um, places like Pivot Point and, and Product Club. Um, they even have hair that's you know, this one's 50-50% gray. You can get those too if you want um, a swatches. But, you know, I, I know you're home and you're going, where the heck am I going to get these types of things? Well, you know what? You can make your own. So I'm going to show you how to MacGyver these things. I left that one on a little bit too long. Um, but it's pretty easy to do. Is All you need is some hair. Um, hopefully uh, you have either someone around or, or something maybe you picked up off the salon floor or a child who's willing to let you donate some hair for maybe a couple bucks. Um, who knows? But you get to get some human hair. So um, once you have sorted that out, what you now need is a hot glue gun. You can also, I've done this with just wax and then duct tape. Regular candle wax doesn't work because it, it's very brittle, but hot glue works. So what you can do is you take this and you spread it out and you put the hot glue down into the hair through the ends I believe I had my glasses on the floor when I was doing this, and I'm realizing why. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist, and then I kind of take the ends and I wrap it around as much as possible, just for that first one, because there's some loose ends hanging out all over the place. Okay, so now I've got my first one done. Again, this is not pretty, but this is very practical. So there's my first one, okay? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to come down the strand of, of this hair and I'm going to select the second spot which is going to be farther down and what I will do is I will cut off my first swatch and it becomes easier now because now I have more like brushed ends and you can do that for the first piece. I find I lose a lot of hair though. So now I take it, I put it into where I was working before. I'm literally taking the tip of the nozzle and working it down the strand to make sure everything is saturated. Again, give that a little bit of a twist. I've got these little hairs that hang off. I'm gonna grab those, wrap that around, and now that one's ready. This is hot, do not touch. Come down a little bit further, cut off another piece. Take that, work that down. It gets easier as you work down because I both have like a little puddle of um, hot wax on the foil. And at the same time, the even ends give me a nice shot. So I'm gonna take that, whoop, I'm gonna cut off that. And now, I have three more swatches to add to my dust. Okay, so that's how you can MacGyver it. You can purchase it, um, but you definitely want to both do pigmented and non-pigmented hair because it's important to realize how colors react both on pigmented and non-pigmented hair. You know, some colors have very blended bases, which are great when I'm gray hair. 
because they give you the amount of gold and they give you the amount of brown that you need to get both great, great coverage and at the same time a balanced, believable tone. But sometimes on pigmented hair that can be very um, uh, neutral, uh, possibly muddy. Uh, maybe not get you the vibrancy of the results that you're looking for, which is why maybe you're looking for something that's more of a pure tone. And you'll be able to see that on the gray hair, uh, sorry, the, the, the non-pigmented hair best, the yak hair in this case. So we're gonna use yak hair, we're gonna use guest hair, and we're gonna use some of these swatches too. So let me get back to making my swatches and I will see you in a little bit. Corona beard. If they don't look good, we don't look good.